Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. This is Austin Linney here. What we're going to talk about today is gut. I have talked to enough people. I have interviewed somewhere north of 500 people on the podcast. I coach 16 people a week, you know, every week for the last two years. So I'm having, you know, waited tables for 20 years. Um, So I've had, you know, north of uh, you know, multiple, multiple millions of conversations with people and just studying behavior. And um, I've lived a lot of lives, um, started a bunch of businesses, failed, did good podcasting, you know, coaching, all the, all the, I've been around, I travel a bunch too. And, you know, guts this thing that our ego lets us avoid, right? Guts this thing that we know where we should be. We know what we should be doing. But for whatever reason, because we're worried about what somebody's going to say, we're worried about um, what it looks like, we're worried about all these things, is that um, when you become slightly slightly monetarily successful, let's just, you know, I've talked to a lot of millionaires, I'm not a millionaire, but I've talked to a lot of millionaires, is they'll, they'll tell you that the money is obsolete besides the feeling and alignment that you feel when you're doing that thing, right? And, and there's scumbags out there. Of course there are. Um, There's people that are selling online courses that are douchebags and they're making money. Well, that's good for them. But I much worry more about uh, how I'm making money than why I'm making money. Meaning like who I'm doing it with, um, what alignment we're doing it with. It's a long game. And understanding that not everything in life is based off of the money that you're going to receive in perpetuity. And understanding that relationship building and supporting others and giving people an opportunity when maybe nobody else will, you have no idea who that person will be. You have no idea what might happen. You know, I lend money to people. Um, sometimes they don't ask for a return. Sometimes I do. Um, it's a situation where it's is me being a value to that person and creating a space necessary where uh, I have a social capital in the future. And you know, there's this double, you know, kind of positivity of social capital, karma, and putting good vibes out into the universe. And it just so happens that any time that I'm feeling um, not myself, I'm feeling, um, you know, like I'm I'm just not where I need to be. I, I, I realize that I'm too much worried about what I'm getting out of it. And then the moment I switch that around and decide to help somebody or give something back or, you know, things start opening up for me. And so I relate this back to your gut. Like when you're in a situation, when you're in a business partnership, a relationship, uh, uh, your job, uh, a spouse, you, you know, your gut in that moment, that first feeling that you feel with that energy in the room, you know, you know, you know, how many things, how many businesses, how many um opportunities how many relationships are you in that you know you shouldn't be in come on it's okay you can tell me because that was most of my 20s i was trying to force something because my ego told me it's what i wanted instead of finding alignment within my gut of who i'm doing business with and ever since i just started going with feelings and working in that emotion when it comes up and 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 deciding to take a chance on somebody yeah i'm gonna get burned but I've made a conscious decision that I'm going to go with my gut. And I guarantee you that most of the time it's going to pay off in the long run. And so I want you to really step back and look at those relationships, those business relationships that you've been putting off that you know you shouldn't be in in the first place. And well, I know Austin, but what if I get out of it and then I start with zero? No, you don't. Who you became in the process is the goal. So what you've learned and what you've done over that time creates where you're not starting from zero. And understand that life is nothing more than a pivot because who we're becoming in the process is what creates the magic. And so I want you to listen 
to your gut. Stop listening with your wallet and understand that when you create this mechanism to trust your gut, I promise you it'll lead you in the right direction. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.